me Wataru. Well, it's been a kind of intense explanations of Biba phrasing for a while. So I want to make this video kind of fun and easy. So let's do a bebop quiz. There is a tune, Ornithology, written by Charlie Parker, based on the form of How High the Moon. Please check out the recording by Charlie Parker Septet on March 28th, 1946. It's described as take four. Charlie Parker's solo on this take four is actually on Charlie Parker Omnibook. And the tenor saxophone player of this recording is Mr. Lucky Thompson. And let's talk about only first nine birds of Mr. Thompson's solo today. Maybe there was a technical problem and Mr. Thompson's saxophone seems like tuned as A is 449. It's super sharp. Here's a quiz. What did Mr. Thompson do on the first two bars? If you want a uh, hint, I have explained that you can play a diminished chord on major seventh chord. If you don't know about this, please check out my former video number 026. All right? And please be careful of the key signature. There are three sharps. That means first note is not F, it's F sharp. Time for the answer. But before the explanation, um, jazz phrase analysis is a matter of perception. So if you have different way to understand the phrase, from mine. I would say that's good too. So I'm going to pick up some notes of the first bar, A major 7. I see F sharp, G sharp, C natural, and another F sharp. Then I see some notes of A diminished 7. Well, I don't see the root A, but the root of the harmony is played by bass player. Then this one, G natural, is a chromatic passing note between F sharp and G sharp. Then through E, it gets to the note D. So I would say a diminished seventh functions like F diminished seventh, which is part of D7 but in ninth. Well, well, so this looks like the fifth of G major seven. However, the line here doesn't go like arpeggio of G major 7. Alright then, so what's going on on the second bar? It goes to A and F sharp from D. Then I wonder how they function. So skipping the explanation now, let's focus on this. G sharp, B. D, F natural, it's obviously G sharp diminished seven here, simple arpeggio, and 
this one functions. As an arpeggio from the third of E7 flat and ninth, which actually resolves to A minor. Then, I would say this one is a target of the line here. And here, this one, G natural, is obviously grammatic approach you know, to the target G sharp. These two function as diatonic approach note. So the three notes, A, F sharp, G natural, form a group of approach notes to the target. And it goes up with arpeggio of G sharp diminished seven. That's how I see the first two bars of Mr. Thompson's solo. Now then, the rest is pretty easy to analyze. It gets to fifth, and skipping the third, somehow it goes to the ninth, seventh, fifth again, and nicely goes to the third, which intentionally he skipped here. Also, setting a new actual key, G major, and playing A minor 7, D7 as 2, 5. Well, here, you can see 5th of D, 7th, 9th, and 3rd, and the 3rd is actually the major 7th of G major 7, so it's a common note. So this is another technique to go through the cadence with a common note between the 5, 7, and 1 major 7. Then you see some notes of G major 7 here. And uh, um, talking about the rest, I personally like this note, C sharp. When I play this kind of phrase, I personally prefer to play C natural here. But this one functions as chromatic approach note to D. And Mr. Thompson gave the phrase kind of pretty character. After that, since it's set as 2 5 of another actual key, F major 7. So it goes down with a scale of F major and it gets to the second, seventh, and the root. And when it gets to the, the root, it jumps up to the third and the root again. That means this one is a diatonic approach note, and this one is a chromatic approach note to target, which is the root of F major 7. I think Mr. Thompson's saw is well thought and fascinating. I personally like jazz musicians who play highly developed stuff in a subtle way so that the listeners don't even notice the technical part. Another example is the opening and ending theme of this video. That is my composition. Can you write down the time signature of it? There are some interpretations of the scale that you can play on diminished seventh chord. And for now, let's practice only one combination diminished scale. C combination diminished scale has four notes of C diminished seventh chord and D diminished seventh chord. Also, I personally recommend you to practice the arpeggio not only diminished seventh chord, but also diminished plus major seventh. <laughs>
give like big bop quiz is over. We're gonna go back to intense explanation of bebop phrasing on the next video, all right? Saxophone can be your friend for life. Keep playing, all right? I'll help you. See you soon. Thank you.